How much of our lives are digital these days, but you still have to dig out a physical ID to prove your age or your identity or your ability to drive? State legislators are moving forward with a bill that would make it legal to use your phone to show a digital ID whenever it's requested. But before you hand your phone to a police officer, consider this from our Marshal Zellinger. Colorado IDs have transformed. Two years ago, the state unveiled this new design for licenses and IDs. It also looks like this through the My Colorado app. This is my digital ID with my personal information removed for TV purposes. And state lawmakers are currently working on adding this to the list of legitimate ways to identify yourself with law enforcement while driving. So it makes sense if you don't uh, think through all the potential um, unintended consequences. Unintended consequences are why we went to DU law professor Ian Farrell, wondering if law enforcement could look at more than just my ID if I hand over my phone to prove who I am. Whether handing the officer your phone for these purposes counts as consent is kind of unclear. If I was a judge, I would say, no, you are handing it over for a fairly clear purpose. We can't go past the screen that you're showing us your ID or insurance with. Colonel Matthew Packard is the head of Colorado State Patrol, which asks for IDs often. While I'm not giving consent handing my phone over for ID purposes, it may not matter if something happens while my phone is in possession of law enforcement like an untimely text message. Just like the law is currently, if I see evidence of a crime that's inside the vehicle as I'm standing at the door, um, the same principle uh, would, it, uh, would, would play here. If I'm looking at your phone to get your ID and all of a sudden a message uh, shows up about the load of cocaine in the trunk, then we're gonna do some further investigation. There's this doctrine in Fourth Amendment law called plain view. If the officer is allowed to be holding your phone or even looking at your phone and something pops up, that is not them searching the phone. They're perfectly entitled to use that information. Farrell's concern is more about what happens when law enforcement has your phone and then tries to initiate a search which first requires your consent. Once the officer has your phone and says, do you mind if I search or what's the password, it is even more difficult to feel comfortable denying that request than had you not given the officer your phone in the first place. It is still not a legitimate form of ID in Colorado to have your digital ID as proof of a driver's license. And the bill that caught my eye about this is only making it a legitimate use of ID to prove who you are, not to prove that you can drive in the state. If you refuse to identify yourself to law enforcement, digital or otherwise, this bill going through the legislature would allow law enforcement to take you into custody for the purposes of figuring out who you are and then releasing you or arresting you because of some outstanding warrant, which is probably why you weren't saying who you were in the first place. Yeah. Uh, one. Marshall's back, everybody. Marshall's back. You've been asking for weeks. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you. Two, I feel like my takeaway from this is like, uh, digital ID officer? Yes, sure, no problem. Uh, airplane mode? There you go. I'm still old-fashioned. I'll go manual. Yeah. Here is, let me dig into my wallet. I'll, hey, give me a second. Here's the actual paper thing or whatever it's made out of. Yeah, some, yeah, some plastic. All right. Welcome back, my friend. Thanks.